good morning students okay in this class we learn the phylum porifera and phylum ciliantrata phylum porifera general characteristics they have given we need to concentrate these characteristics at least 5 to 6 characteristics you need to study this is the diagram for cycon what are the characteristics they are exclusively aquatic forms which means they live in water and also marine forms and few of them are freshwater forms they are multicellular organisms and exhibit cellular level of organization the body of sponges is asymmetrical asymmetrical means the body is not divided the body wall is made up of outer dermal or pinaco term and inner gastral layer or conoderm which means the layers which is made up of pinaco derm and inner gastral layer pinaco derm is made up of pinnocyte cells and conoderm is made up of kinastocyte cells or cola cells the body surface consists of numerous pores called as ostia like this they contains numerous pores like this this is the diagram for cycon these are called as ostia those are the small pores through which the water enter into this sponge seal in which water flows is called water canal system next inner gastral layer encloses a cavity called sponge seal which opens to the exterior by the vascular they possesses an internal skeleton in the form of needle like structures called spicules or spongin fibers the spicules may be calcareous or siliceous thing but these are the minerals which they are made up of general characters digestion is intracellular few of them are they have given reproduction mode by gametes that is a sexual reproduction sexual reproduction by fusion of gametes example cycon they given diagram and few of them they will come glass sponges venus flower basket u spongia these are some examples for phylum porifera and next if you see the phylum ciliantrata cnidaria here uh, some general characteristics they are exclusively aquatic these are also water living organisms they are first multicellular animals to have a tissue grade of organization these are the organisms they have the on land which contains organization level in this phylum four basic tissues namely epithelial tissue muscular tissue connective tissue and nervous tissue are well developed they are radially symmetrical animals they are diploblastic animals have outer ectoderm and inner endoderm these are some characteristics five to six characteristics if you remember that's enough and what are the examples they have gave hydra physalia ovilia pinnatula arola these are some examples fungi mushroom coral okay if you remember these examples so that's enough and again our reproduction mode will by two modes sexual and asexual nervous system they contain nerve cells circulatory system excretory organs are absent digestion is intracellular next phylum is dinofora see silent here what are the characteristics they have 
tissue grade of organization they are intermediate between radiate and bilateria since they exhibit biradial symmetry bioluminescence a property of emitting light by living organisms these organisms contains bioluminescence sexes are not separate reproduction takes place by only sexual modes they are called combi jellies as they have either rows of comb like ciliated tracts like complets they help in locomotion locomotion means movement pleurobrachia examples some of the examples sea walnut pleurobrachia sino you know plena next another one phylum we can see platy elementes like flat worms which means the organisms will like will looks like flat very some points aquatic they are live in water as well as terrestrial or parasitic forms they exhibit organ grade of organization organ grade of organization means they contains different organs are well developed they are bilaterally symmetrical they are triploblastic animals consists of an outer ectoderm middle mesoderm and inner endoderm they are acelomates digestive system is incomplete they are hermaphrodites bisexual hermaphrodites means single organisms are bisexual planar example liver fluke given tape form also they given some examples okay hope you all understood students just practice the general characteristics of this phylum in next class i will start as kelimanthes anelida kind of few of some